students now this is a video on probiotics versus prebiotics now as we all know large number of microorganisms called as gut flora are found in the human GIT especially the colon and majority of these uh, bacteria are beneficial and they prevent the growth of pathogenic bacteria in the gut now diseases like uh, human immunodeficiency virus hepatitis b virus use of antibiotics can reduce the population of these beneficial bacteria so at that time these probiotics might be useful so probiotics are microbial preparations either live cultures or lyophilized powder composed of beneficial bacteria that maintain healthy gut flora now these beneficial bacteria they obtain their nutrition from the dietary fibers so these ben beneficial bacteria they obtain their nutrition from the prebiotics so probiotics uh, depend on prebiotics for their nutrition so these prebiotics are indigestible carbohydrates or dietary fibers that provide nutrition and stimulate growth of beneficial bacteria in the colon now examples uh, some of the examples of beneficial bacteria for example bifidobacteria lactobacilli now examples of uh, dietary fibers or examples of uh, uh, pro, uh, of uh, prebiotics for example uh, lactulose galacto oligosaccharides fructo oligosaccharides etc now these probiotics or the beneficial bacteria they restore balanced intestinal flora thereby strengthening immunity of uh, gastrointestinal tract and which further improves the overall immunity and well-being of an individual now prebiotics uh, provide nutrition to the beneficial bacteria now natural sources of uh, uh, probiotics now yogurt and sauerkraut is uh, uh, are the natural sources of uh, probiotics then uh, natural sources of prebiotics are uh, some of the sources are asparagus garlic onion bananas apples beans etc now uh, let's uh, talk in brief about uh, symbiotic now a mixture of probiotic and prebiotic is termed as symbiotic now this uh, combination is a synergistic combination now this combination consists of a beneficial bacteria and a dietary fiber for example bifidobacteria and fructo oligosaccharide another example is lactobacillus rhamnosus and galacto oligosaccharide now this mixture is a beneficial mixture as it consists of a beneficial microorganism along with the nutrient required for the growth so this improves the overall survival of microorganism in the gut now these combinations uh, they are highly effective and they provide uh, nutrition to the uh, colonocytes they nourish the cells of colon and uh, they exhibit anti inflammatory effect in the gut uh, now uh, probiotics and prebiotics they regulate the bowel movement they were reducing the incidences of diarrhea and uh, uh, they uh, as they exhibit anti inflammatory effect they improve symptoms of uh, inflammatory bowel diseases like uh, ulcerative colitis and the crohn's disease and uh, as probiotics and prebiotics they they uh, strengthen the uh, they strengthen the immunity of gut they reduce the risk of colon cancer and they may also support systemic immune development and modulation that means they uh, may also uh, support and strengthen overall immunity of the body so this is in brief on uh, probiotics versus uh, prebiotics so if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video